Hey guys, welcome to my guide for low to mid-level solo Dagonoth Rex for Dragon Hatchet and Berserkering. I just wanted to make a guide about the new safe spots on the new platform for Dagonoth Rex if you want to solo him using magic. I recommend about 100 combat to do this and 70 magic should be high enough to be able to farm Dagonoth Rex pretty easily. In terms of armor I would recommend something like War Priest or better um, and the use of a T60 weapon. I'm using War Priest in this video and a Zamorok Staff and I found it pretty easy. I set up my autocast on Firewave and pretty much didn't have any problem with it. What you want to take along with you on your inventory is uh, runes for your Firewave spells, runes for high elk because there's going to be a lot of random drops that you want to elk, um, some quick tellies just to be safe and a fairly decent amount of food. You don't need too much as it's pretty sustainable while you're there. To get there go ahead and use the Fremening Province Lodestone uh, to get near Relica. Uh, head west through Relica and go to the very west jetty where you can fast travel to Waterbirth Island. If you haven't done the Fremenic Trials quest, you can just talk to Jarvold and you'll have to pay to get to Waterbirth Island. Once you get to Waterbirth Island, head over to the dungeon entrance and go into the cave entrance and ignore the warnings. Once inside the dungeon, make your way east and there'll be three main paths. Take the one to the very north and open the door. Once you're through the door, head to the very east point and you'll see a door support that you have to destroy. Once it's destroyed, go ahead and climb down the ladder. Once you get to this point, it is climbing up and down ladders to exit and enter each area. Uh, you'll be going past a few mobs that will do some pretty decent damage to you. So this is the point where you usually use your food. If you feel like you're taking too much damage at this point, you can just use protection from range on the Dagonoth and protections from magic on the Wall of Sulkies just to um, keep the damage down. Once you get to this area, this is where the entrance to the Dagonoth Kings is. So basically run through to the very east point near where the summoning obelisk is for a safe spot and basically just kill any uh, mob that maybe have aggro on you and just use your regenerate and make sure you're up to full health before you attempt to go into the instance. When you're ready to go in, right click on the ladder and click customize session. This will bring up a window that will be interrupted if mobs aggro onto you, so you kind of have to do it quickly. This is the point where it brings up um, your instance system. Um, this is where you can customize the amount of players, the minimum combat, the spawn speed, and the protection um, modes that you have. Each boss in RuneScape has this. You can basically ignore every other option other than the spawn speed which is fastest and click start. It's going to cost 150k per instance which lasts an hour. As soon as you click start you have about 10 seconds before they spawn so you want to run to the very east section of the platform. This is where you'll be uh, luring Dagonoth Rex and putting him into a safe spot. They all spawn in the middle of the platform except Dagonoth Rex usually is the east most located one. So basically you want to wait to a point where Dagonoth Rex is on his own and not near Dagonoth Prime um, and attack him and bring him back to where we were standing uh, when we first were waiting for the spawn. Once he's come closer to you, you want to head north behind one of these big rock pillars. Um, once standing behind them, you'll be able to safe spot him. Note that his um, attack range is quite small, so you can stand either right behind them or next to them. Um, I was stood behind them on this one just because I was worried about aggroing Dagonoth Prime, but usually it's fine. Uh, point to note is that Spinal Lips will spawn around the platform, um, but after you've killed the boss a few times, they basically don't respawn again, so don't worry too much about them if they're doing damage to you. The only way that you can really take damage in this method is if you took hits from him when you were bringing him over to the safe spot. Other than that, you don't really need food. Um, you can just queue up your energy for metamorphosis and then regenerate once he's dead. Um, but other than that, you can keep your inventory pretty free. 
Um, if you continue to do this method and, and pull him over to the east and pull him behind the safe spot, you really won't need too much food. Once Dagonoth Rex is dead, you can go up and pick up your loot. Um, and basically, you just want to rinse repeat. So you stand in the same spot to the east. Uh, you wait till Dagonoth Rex is further away from Dagonoth Prime. Um, and you aggro him over to the spot and pull him back. Um, it's something that you can keep doing um, fairly consistently. The only real problem that you may find is if you pull one of the other Dagonoth Kings as well. Um, this is a pretty good area for high alking things that you don't need, um, getting your Dragon Hatchet, your Warrior Ring, Berserker Ring, um, things like that. You can get noted Dagonoth Bones as well. Um, it's pretty good for XP as well. One thing I wanted to note as well, if you go to pull Dagonoth Rex and accidentally pull Dagonoth Prime as well at the same time, you can just quick telly out um, and go back to Waterbirth and follow through the path as well. Or you can do this method where um, you basically run through and go up the ladder. Um, at this point you want to do protection from magic because you take a lot of damage and you want to be spamming your food by the time you get to the top of the stairs. If you do this, you will uh, exit the instance and not be able to re-enter because you'll be re-entering re on top of the Dagonoth Kings. So you want to restart it. So you basically just want to go to customize settings um, and make a new instance. This will cost you another 150k, but um, I had to do a couple of times because I uh, aggroed Dagonoth Prime accidentally and took a heap of damage. Um, but yeah, you can still go back in and uh, have another go at it. That comes to the end of my guide. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, otherwise, good luck with your dragon hatchets and your berserker rings. See you next time.